More than 70 million Americans have sickle cell anemia, also known as sickle cell disease. 5 to 10 percent are candidates for a bone marrow transplant that could cure their illness. Tonight in the Health Beat News Channel 5's Kay Quinn tells us about a first of its kind bone marrow transplant recently performed in a local teenager with sickle cell disease. 15-year-old Kiki Kathy of St. Louis has struggled with sickle cell anemia all of his short life. Doctors recommended a bone marrow transplant in an attempt to cure his disease, but none of his family members were a match. He was very sick. He had a lot of pain crisis. Pain caused by the sickle cell shape of his red blood cells. The inherited disease affects hemoglobin in the blood and can lead to poor circulation, infections, and stroke. I had a crisis. And, uh, and, uh, my grandma was with me, and, and, uh, um, and it went from my legs to my arms, to my arms, to my chest. This was Kiki in 2000. So sick from sickle cell disease, a public appeal was made for blood donors for the transfusions he needed. But today, Kiki and his family have put their hopes for a cure in a bone marrow transplant. Until now, most sickle cell patients who have transplants have gotten the bone marrow from a family member. Kiki is the first patient at St. Louis Children's Hospital to get his cells from an unrelated donor. By using antibodies against certain immune cells to prepare patients for transplant, doctors hope to avoid serious complications that followed unrelated donor transplants in the past. We're learning gentler ways of doing this so that if rejection were to occur, then their own cells would pick up. They would be more back to baseline. Kiki got the transplant in an IV August 22nd. He has to stay in this hospital room until sometime in October when his new cells graft and his risk of infection drops. It's tough for him. You know, he gets cranky and upset, but he thinks of the long-term goal. When he comes out, he hopes to be cured of his sickle cell disease and let others know about the tremendous promise unrelated transplants can hold. I want to go out and tell the world about my story. For more on the use of bone marrow transplants in patients with sickle cell disease, check out my column in Monday's Healthy and Fit section of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch.